Hey, uh, good morning, guys. Uh, welcome to uh, Fun and Food Gardeners one more time. Today is uh, Sunday, July uh, 25th, 2021. We are going to harvest uh, our potatoes. Uh, these are regular potatoes that we planted uh, in April. Um, yeah, middle of April. And uh, it's essentially uh, roughly three months now on the ground. Um, half of these potatoes, these ones right here, if you look at this, this is an eight by four raised bed, a galvanized raised bed, a ga um, raised bed structure. And uh, if you look in the middle, you see the lines, the two lines running there. So essentially half of this, this side of it, we planted uh, some potatoes that we bought from the store that we are sprouting. And on this side, we planted uh, potatoes that we bought specifically for planting. So we will see uh, what is uh, the produce, overall produce, how uh, we uh, did. Um, so we just wanna quickly uh, harvest them. They die down on their own. We have not watered them for the past two weeks. And it hasn't uh, been raining for the past uh, uh, two weeks. So, um, so uh, we'll just see how they did. Uh, meanwhile, we've been uh, picking the rest of the stuff. You know, this is uh, my apple right here. Um, we've been picking this. Uh, these are all ready to be picked. Um, I planted this apple tree right here. Uh, was it not two years ago? And then. Uh, we have a, a couple of them, we have about three of them planted and uh, all of them are producing fruits uh, right now. So, um, really, really uh, nice to uh, pick this stuff and uh, eat them right away. <laughs> we, the, our backyard is full of uh, a bunch of uh, plants and uh, vegetables and uh, uh, greens and uh, corn and uh, you just name it. Um, we have all of them here. But uh, we quickly want to do this uh, potato harvest and see how it is, uh, uh, how uh, we did. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, I know. So, uh, um, take your hand you know, and show you right there. You show this way and that way. So, we'll see what we do. Try the farm right in there. And you know, um, do the formation, just do that. Really nice. So it's really nice size stuff. Let's see. Really nice size and uh, wow. This, this is something. So we're getting an average of four big ones per plant. And then you have a bunch of smaller ones that I have to also throw away because if you leave them here, they will, every year, they will keep coming back as uh, potatoes when in fact uh, they are not. Um, I mean, they will kind of hinder you from planting whatever you want to plant because you assume that they are potatoes when they're just uh, wow wow i kind of uh, feel sorry having to use this because you don't want to give uh, you don't want to scratch or wound uh, the potatoes that much i mean since we're not eating all of them today we can't even get to all of them in the next uh, two weeks to three weeks Scratching them will be the last thing you want to do because that will be a recipe for them going bad. Okay, so I wonder what I'll be able to get all this today. I mean, this morning, just because I have to go into something else. But oh, look at that. See what I was telling you about them going bad? See that? So we should the ideal time to start harvesting see look at that see this went bad completely 
So the ideal time to start harvesting this stuff should uh, actually be two and a half months. We have already wasted, I've been procrastinating on this. Um, been, oh man, look at that, all these ones went bad. And these are the ones in the, in the middle. And guess what, I think the only possible explanation is that the ones in the middle has more water. You know, you can see that the side ones, we started on the side. So the side ones, um, didn't have a lot of water in there. Look, this one is almost, was almost, okay, this one is good. This one is good. The side ones was, uh, we're, all, we're almost uh, lost. Um, but because we don't have water, too much water on the side, we got most of them. But in the middle here, where you have water, we, we've had at least, wow, look at that, that's the biggest of them all. See, look at that. See why I now decided to stop uh, using the fork. Look at this sofa, look. Yeah. And uh, this is where we are. We have done essentially about 25% of, of the 8x4 garden. 8x4. This, the entire space here is 8x4. Look at that. Wow. This also so something we bought from the store that was sprouting. I believe. Um, and uh, because you can see these are different from these ones. These two were from the store. This is the one that we actually bought for as seed potatoes. So I haven't gotten there yet. When we get there, we'll see the difference. And then we'll know whether we... Wow, these ones are surprising me. The, these ones are giving me the surprise. Like surprise. You know, so... There's something. The what you're looking at actually is comp. These are all we planted this on a, a compost that we bought. Look at that. Look at that. See, right? You can now see exactly. See, this is one potato. You can see the mother one right there in the middle, right? And then you can see all he gave us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at that. Look at that. Nice, right? Nice. The earth is very rewarding. You put one, it gives you seven. How about that? You know, buy, uh, it's almost like buy one, get seven free. <laughs> so, the earth is rewarding. Mother earth, we owe a lot. This is the one we planted can see that clearly now the reason why I planted something this big again was because we bought this we couldn't catch up with the eating and so it was sprouting I just put it in the ground and this is now this has now given us seven instead of uh, us throwing it out look at another one you know this one is uh, at least three so far I haven't uh, checked inside to see and this things come really very fast sometime in the middle of April that's when we planted all this stuff and look at what uh, oh okay I see because I put in a bunch of uh, yard waste underneath here before I planted before I poured in the compost I normally buy this compost every year um, we buy them every year. Okay, so we didn't get a lot. Huh? This one's uh, not so tiny, but even then we still got essentially what we, what what we planted there it still came out. So I buy this uh, compost every year. Um, I've bought this uh, consecutively for the past two years. Now I think actually. 
we don't have to buy it anymore because we have more than enough okay i remember what happened here i really didn't plant anything this way because i was afraid of this uh, divide right here oh my god look at that look at that see how beautiful look at that amazing stuff right amazing stuff boy oh boy boy oh boy this thing is so beautiful this is beautiful this is beautiful stuff say hi hi <laughs> He was holding the camera before, um, but I kind of wanted you guys to see the real spot. So I'm holding the camera with one hand, I, uh, and then I'm trying to make sure we we good. Whoa! Holy Christ! I thought it was. Oh my God! I scratched it. Look at that. I thought this was like a rock or something. See? <laughs> oh my, look at my hand. Look. Guys, look. Do you see what I see? Do you guys see what I see? Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy moly. Holy moly. This is the biggest I've ever seen. This is the biggest. Oh, whoa. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I have to make all kinds of animal sound here because look, this is so exciting too. Actually, I think this is my first year of actually getting. I mean, last year I planted some potatoes, and I left it. I left them on the. I left them on harvested for a while. By the time I went there, they were all like eighty percent gone. You know, because uh, they were all eighty percent gone, and so. That is why this year I decided to take this this small time and uh, you know and work on this. Wow, you know because there's no point doing gardening if you actually can't uh, find time to harvest them. You know, so although we do this mostly for the fun of it sometimes, but you gotta if you don't harvest them, it's a waste of. Uh, Good time for everybody. Now, because of the experience I just had with another one, I'm now playing this as safely as I could. We we'll still have a, a little space here to finish up. Uh, to finish up. Oh wow! Okay, so we we'll still have. See that? We we'll still have this one over right here. These are also part of the ones I showed. I told you guys earlier that uh, these are part of the the red ones. So wow, look at that! See my hand. Look at that! Wow, wow. We this look. Guys, look, look, I actually thought it was finished, oh my god, look at that, I scratched this again with even using my hand, these things are so delicate, and they just lie there, like, you just wonder how they formed, see, even on the edge, they just lie there, I think I will be able to do only half of this today, so I won't even get to the store, the ones I I planted as the seed one, because I have to run to do some quick work elsewhere. But um, this is crazy. This is something I never really thought it would be so rewarded. And the beauty about using this 
what I, I the compass. So we lost that one. I think it's probably the first one that I threw in over here. But the beauty about doing this stuff the way I did them is that you don't do a lot of digging. If you use a, the raised bed, do very little digging. You just, uh, see, essentially use my hand and grab as much of this as I could. Now we have a good, a good, uh, let me see, you're looking at a minimum of about, I haven't weighed it, but, one, two, three, four. I can see some 22 pounds right here. 22 pounds right here. You know, so, you see, if you look at the, the stuff, the race bed, you can see exactly what I'm telling you guys, right? So we've done half of it. So essentially we did eight by four. So this 22 pounds from eight by four. So we're looking at getting about 40 pounds of potato from, by, from uh, no, this would now be eight by two, you know, or essentially four by four, you know. So this is a four by four space, uh, four feet by four feet space. And then we also have this other side of it, which I won't be able to do right now. Um, until uh maybe in the evening when i'm done uh but let me just do one so you guys can see you know see that let's just pull this up look at that look see see that we power go and check the time for me go and check the time for me oh hold on i have my i can check it on my phone hold on you know so 8.58, okay, I have two minutes more, so, but, um, holy Christ, so, let's see, look at that, now, see the store bought, can you imagine, the ones, these are the ones we actually bought for planting, you know, so, it's giving us very small, like, really very small stuff, you know, and meanwhile, you know, when you buy them for plant, as seed, as seed potatoes, you pay so much money for it and stuff, you know, so you just keep wondering why you even buy seed potatoes when you can just go to the store and buy the ones, uh, buy the stuff in the store and then, uh, you know, and plant them and still get, and not even still get, get a better result. You know, you get a better result because yes, this is giving us some potatoes, but it's giving us tiny stuff. And this was also my experience last year, frankly. Um, although we lost many of them because I didn't get to harvest in them, but at the end of the day, you know, we even the sizes that were coming out, we are not that. Uh, yeah, I can't get to any of this anymore. I'll probably get to them in the evening. But, uh, but uh, you can begin to see what uh, we did this morning. Look at that. Look at that. So, let me get the camera closer. Yeah, uh, closer to the day. Look at that. See that? Massive sizes of potatoes. And this is essentially just uh, plant and go. We did nothing else. There's no weeding involved. You know, I bought this stuff for $80. I bought the, see, let's see this. See, I bought this stuff for $80. I threw in some lettuce there. See, uh, I'm essentially growing this lettuce so I can, uh, you know, get the uh, seeds. Um, I put them on the side so they really didn't disturb the potatoes. But um, now you can see what we have here. Uh, Eighty dollars hasn't. We haven't gotten the money yet. But you know we are going to plant something else right here that will also be harvested in November, and uh, we'll keep uh, putting stuff in. So that's uh, the fun about uh, some of the stuff we do here. You know it's really amazing what uh, what you can get out of. Uh, nature and this is just right from our backyard it's not like 
we didn't even have to go anywhere else for this. You know, we didn't go to, have to go anywhere else for this. You know, apples come to the backyard and pick apples. You know, tomatoes all over the place. See that? Tomatoes, 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 beets, beetroots, peppers, more peppers. Look at that, right there. More peppers, these are all peppers. Tomatoes, you know, and uh, lots of stuff, lots of stuff. The garden eggs, these are garden eggs in containers. See, tiny little containers. We put stuff everywhere. And uh, we uh, just keep buying freezers and uh, dumping this stuff in because we can't get to them. It's very hard to get to all this stuff. You know, the, all this stuff and all the beauty that they create around here. Massive ecosystems of uh, food and uh, look at corn. Corn is, uh, that corn is a good, uh, it's so hard to imagine that you can have a 12 feet corn. It's called a trucker's favorite. Trucker's favorite. We bought it from Morgan County Seeds uh, and they shipped it to us from Missouri. You know, and then over there we have uh, the sweet corn, and then we have this other set of uh, different vibes here, and then down there we have those ones. Um, and then in addition to what we have in the greenhouse, we have two of these greenhouses. These are the Chinese uh, two hundred dollar greenhouses, and uh, this is uh, this is amazing. Um, well, guys, uh, thank you again. I have to run, and uh, you've seen this. This is just essentially four by four. This was gotten from a four by four space. What you're looking at right here. Tons of potatoes. And then we are going to keep planting more and more stuff here. So these things pay for themselves and uh, provides a, a very good uh, therapeutic and uh, you know physical uh, activity at the backyard. Just come out from, the, from your house and uh, boom, you are doing something. Thank you again. and. Um, uh, you can always come back to Fun and Food Gardeners and uh, get more videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.